in Calabasas. Today we meet Danielle. I like to throw parties, but especially also small concerts, little recitals with my students. She's a vocal coach from Manhattan looking for an amazing West Coast vacation home. Could you see your grand piano right there? Possibly over there. We're about to see three luxury properties in Calabasas and Hidden Hills, California. Now that you've had a chance to think about it, which home are you choosing? Well, which of these three vacation homes will check all the boxes? I chose. Stay tuned. Jennifer Farrell, welcome to the show. We are here today in Calabasas, California, known as the hideaway to the stars. I'm going to help Danielle find a home for herself as she's leaving New York in the winters to come here and practice her music lessons in the summer. Which home will she choose? Come along and find out. We are in the estates in Calabasas. It's home to several high profile celebrities, professional athletes, we're only about 30 minutes drive time from LA. So we're sitting on nearly one acre with panoramic views of the Conservancy and the rest of the community of all of Calabasas. So we're at 9,700 square feet. We are at six beds, seven full baths. The outdoor area entails two guest houses and the grounds are just spectacular. As a vacation home, it serves just the purpose that you're looking for. So it's a wonderful place to call home. Welcome, Danielle. Here we are in Calabasas. It is beautiful here. A little different weather than New York. Yes, I <laughs> love it. Well, I'm a classical voice teacher, and I've been living in New York for several years, and I'd like to expand out to California, also spend some time on vacation out here. Yeah, I'm looking for a vacation home that could also be a base for my coaching and lessons. I'd like a space where I can continue to give like small concerts and like evening you know, soirees as well as that sort of California outdoor barbecue, poolside kind of party vibe. And then what would a deal breaker be? Um, let's see. Well, not having room for my piano. Okay, so what kind of piano are we talking about? I'd like to bring a grand out here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we need a big room somewhere. Right. I like to throw small concerts, little recitals with my students. I really enjoy that. So there needs to be room for a baby grand. Good acoustics. Good acoustics. Now see, that's a challenge that I don't usually have to face. Good acoustics, okay. My budget's around five million. I'd like to spend a lot less, but if I can find the right place, I would probably stretch. Calabasas really has some beautiful architecture. It's very different than New York. And I wanna show you some very different homes that are in very different price points. Since you're gonna be using this not only as a vacation home, but a potential place to entertain your celebrity clients, I just wanna give you some possibilities. Well, the first one we're starting with is a showstopper. This home is a six bedroom, seven bath home with two guest houses, 9,700 square feet. It is on an acre of flat land with panoramic views. It's pretty spectacular. Awesome, I can't wait to see it. Well, come on in. Danielle, step inside this modern Tuscan villa. Wow. I know, come on in. I love this stairway already. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? This beautiful winding staircase around very modern light fixtures. This is truly a modern Tuscan classic. I walked in and I was already, my breath was taken away. The entrance has this beautiful grand feel. This first area is very, very open. You said you need a place for a grand piano. Yes, and a nice open acoustically you know, live room. Could you see your grand piano right there? Possibly over there, yeah. A, a small concert here Her, for 50 of your- This is just the right size. There yeah. you go. Uh, and in this area, we also have sitting room, we have office, so there's lots of different uh, gathering and entertaining spaces here. It's really open and bright, so good, good vibe. Well, I would love to show you the kitchen. Step inside this gourmet modern kitchen. As we enter, you see that we've got beautiful quartz countertops. 
We have these great custom Italian cabinets. The appliances could not be more upgraded. This is not a New York kitchen. The kitchen's fabulous. It's huge. I especially love this island here, so you can really just have people socializing around you while you're putting the finishing touches on whatever you're doing. Well, I do want to show you the master suite yes. because it is definitely not a New York size bedroom. <laughs> Step inside this incredible master suite. Wow. I've, wow is the right <laughs> word. Yeah, it's so, gorgeous. The view is gorgeous. Fireplace with the stonework around it. We've got a beautiful balcony just waiting for you to sit out in the mornings mm. and have coffee. This bathroom spa suite is one of the largest I've ever seen. Oh. In fact, the closet is even bigger than the bedroom. So you have a walk-in closet that's the size of the average New York apartment. I mean, all closets should be like that. Fabulous closet. I dream about that kind of a closet. I think we should go outside because the outdoor entertaining area is incredible. Let's step outside to this unbelievable outdoor space. Oh my gosh. Now, first of all, you're not going to get a yard this large in most places in the greater LA area because we're on an acre of property. You've got an outdoor fire pit and an outdoor fireplace. This outdoor living room even has a television. So while you're cooking Perfect. outside, you can watch TV here. It's like a whole house outside. Beautiful swimming pool. Wow. The hot tub with the waterfall feature. Here, we have our two guest houses at either end. You could use those as studios if you're yes. interested in having clients here. The casitas are amazing. I just love the idea of either like bringing in my, my students, my clients, or also having family stay for a big reunion here. I love it, it's incredible. Outside has these amazing views of the valley, pool, covered outdoor living space that also had a fire pit, a TV, view of the lawn and the pool for socializing parties or just hanging out by yourself. It's like everything I was looking for already, so. Well, what do you think the price tag on this six bedroom, seven bath, 9,700 square foot home would be here in Calabasas? I mean, I'm guessing it's sort of at my, the top of what I'm looking for. Um, six million? Well, let's stretch a little further because they're asking 8.5 million okay. for this home. I was kind of hoping for maybe a little under my my top budget, so it's not quite in my the range that I was ideally hoping for. It is an incredible, incredible home. I know that's beyond your budget, yep. but the reason I wanted to show it to you is because not only does it have everything you ask for, it's got more. And my thought was, if you could use these beautiful outdoor casitas as your True. studio, then you wouldn't be renting a separate studio space for your clients. Right, you could consider it. I've only seen this one house. I've still got two more to see, so I'm gonna keep my options open. But I do have two more great homes to show you. Different price points, different sizes, but okay. just as gorgeous. Okay. Ready for the next home? Super ready. Okay, Thanks. come on. We have two more vacation homes left to see. First, we check out this fabulous five bedroom Tuscan country estate in the guard gated community of the Oaks in Calabasas. Then we check out this breathtaking five bedroom ranch estate home in Hidden Hills that boasts a deluxe kitchen and spacious backyard. Wow. Will either of these vacation homes seal the deal? Welcome back. Welcome, Danielle. Here we are in Calabasas. We're on the hunt for the perfect vacation home with our buyer, Danielle. Well, I'm a classical voice teacher, and um, I've been living in New York in the Upper East Side for several years, and I'd like to expand out to California, also spend some time on vacation out here. The first property was a spectacular six-bedroom showstopper behind the coveted gates of the estates in Calabasas. Wow. I know, come on in. The inviting home offered a beautiful open flow and an acre of amazing views. It's not quite in the range that I was ideally hoping for. It is an incredible home. Our next home is a five bedroom Tuscan country estate behind the gates of the Oaks, also in Calabasas. Will this next home be the one? House number two, we are behind the coveted gates at the Oaks in Calabasas, which is approximately 5,165 square feet. We're sitting on a little over half an acre. We've got five bedrooms, six baths. The kitchen has been updated to some really beautiful finishes. 
So the backyard space was completely remodeled. They built out a pool slide in the slope, in the upslope. So you'll see it, it's kind of hidden. So it's a little bit of a surprise, but it's a great backyard, really well designed. Well, Danielle, we are now at house number two. This home is a little over 5,100 square feet. We've got five bedrooms, six baths, a little more traditional Italian villa style. Mm -hmm. Ready to see inside? I'm so ready. Okay, come on. Okay, Danielle, come on inside house number two. So, as we step in, you see that there's a formal sitting room, and then we have the open living dining room. There's another entertaining room. Well, you can see the styling here is more traditional. We've got a lot of custom paneling. We've got the coffered ceilings. We've got very, very big detail and architecture here. This room right here would be perfect for a little concert, a chamber, music type of thing. I love the living room, dining room combo. I can see myself setting up there and performing and my showcasing my students there. I do like the sort of cosmopolitan, kind of glamorous touches in here. Black fireplace is beautiful. Isn't fun. that? Yeah, that's elegant. Yeah. I think it's really lovely. It's more around the, the kind of the size that I had been kind of had in mind. It didn't have that like wow factor of the first first house it had more of a this is home feel for me so as we step inside here we have another cozy sitting room and then this grand kitchen mm. so you can see these beautiful distressed custom cabinets we've got Italian marble on the countertops kitchen's great it's got plenty of space I love all the the features I love the, the wood cabinets. I love that it still has this beautiful, gorgeous, like, island countertop here where you can still, you know, it's got a lot of counter space. That big island is, like, such a wonderful touch in a kitchen, I think, especially when you're planning on having people over. Okay, so the master bedroom is empty right now because the sellers have already moved which is often great for buyers mm -hmm. because that means they're motivated to sell. So imagine yourself here, stepping out onto your veranda, overlooking the pool, you have the fireplace, all the custom molding around the fire. The bathroom is enormous. It's a really nice spa suite. And the closet, again, is as big as the master bedroom. It's amazing. Master suite, it's not as panoramic, but that's not necessarily a must. What is a must is that spa bathroom, the big spacious closet so you can stay really organized. When I go to a resort, I like to go to a lovely water park with <laughs> great water slides, and you have one right here at this house. Oh, would wow. You, would you like to see I it? I would. Okay, come with me. I love this outdoor entertaining area because it really does feel like a resort. You have your amazing water slide down into your pool. There's an elevated hot tub. We have waterfalls. We have an outdoor barbecue. Love the barbecue. And this great outdoor living room. Outside, very fun, very open. Totally see pool parties, socializing, barbecues. Oh, I really see this space as being very usable, like very garden party, an outdoor barbecue, pool party. There's everything that you basically want out of a California backyard. It's got it all. It's really the sort of like size that I had in mind okay. in terms of a vacation home and kind of a workspace away from my center. Well, this will make you feel good. It's five bedrooms. Uh -huh. It's six baths. Wow. Over 5,100 square feet. What do you think the price is in this Calabasas neighborhood? Four million? It is actually $3.2 million, oh, which in nice. this community for this much home is a really good price. I believe it. Yes. Yeah. The price is right. You know, that is actually sort of what I was hoping for, to find something that was a little bit under what I was kind of imagining. Well, don't make your decision yet because <laughs> we have one more home to awesome. show you. It's lovely, very different than these two. So I'm trying okay. to give you a little variety. Okay. Can't wait to see the third one. They've also been very different styles and sort of aesthetics. Ready to see house number three? Yes. Here we go. There's only one more vacation home left to see. 
Our last home is a stunning five-bedroom contemporary ranch estate in nearby Hidden Hills, complete with a soundproof home theater. Will this last vacation home close the deal? Welcome back. We've seen two vacation homes in Calabasas so far on this luxury house hunt with our buyer, Danielle. Well, I have a private voice studio, and I do work with Broadway and classical singers, and I'd like to expand out to California. So I'm looking for a place to vacation and also maybe do some work from. The first home was a modern and sophisticated five-bedroom dream property behind the gates of the estates in Calabasas, full of open flow and panoramic views. It's not quite in my, the range that I was ideally hoping for. It is an incredible, incredible home. The second home was a fantastic five-bedroom Tuscan country estate in the coveted gated community of the Oaks, also in Calabasas. I love that it still has this beautiful, gorgeous island countertop here. It boasted a gourmet kitchen and resort-style outdoor entertaining space. Price is right. You know, that is actually sort of what I was hoping for, to find something that was a little bit under what I was kind of imagining. The last home is a stunning and spectacular five bedroom ranch estate. This smart home boasts a massive outdoor lanai and its own solar farm. Will this final address be a deal closer? This is an equestrian community, so it's a definitely a different type of lifestyle. This is typical uh, Hidden Hills Ranch, but it's a contemporary ranch. So here we have 5,588 square feet of main house, an additional 600 square feet in the auxiliary building outside. We have five bedrooms and nine bathrooms. It's a total smart home, has Lutron lighting devices. There's a theater around the corner off the family room, the lanai area, speakers throughout the entire home. Every conceivable upgrade humanly possible is in this home. We're now at home number three. This house is a five bedroom, seven and a quarter bath home. It's about 5,600 square feet. We're on over an acre of land, okay. and this community is called Hidden Hills. Mm -hmm. It's right by Calabasas, but here it's much more horse ranch country. So yes. this home is a completely different style. Right. We're now at a new American classic home, very farmhouse ranch feeling on the outside. Unbelievable on the inside, completely redone from top to bottom. Are you ready to see it? Yeah, I can't okay, wait. Okay, come in. All right, step inside, Danielle. This is home number three. As we walk in, we have an entire array of spaces around us. We've got the dining room here, we're looking at the kitchen, then we've got into the great room in the backyard and the living room. So you sort of see a lot of the house all for one spot. I walked in and it was just so open and bright, but also full of character. I love the openness of it. We've got beautiful exposed beam work, the coffered ceilings. Every single detail is brand new here. It had this very whimsical feeling to it, which is awesome. I'm very whimsical. I love theater. I love you know, performance art. So this sort of aesthetic just really appeals to me. This kitchen has so many absolutely perfect touches to it. Everything from the beadboard custom cabinetry and all the gorgeous oil rubbed bronze fixtures, our paneled appliances, our gourmet top ends, but you can't even okay. see them except for the range <laughs> right. because they're all hidden behind their paneling. Uh, we've got the exposed beam ceiling. It's, oh yeah. It's really breathtaking. It feels almost like Victorian, old American, but of course everything's brand new. It's beautiful. I would love to cook here. The kitchen is amazing. It's got the great countertops and a bar. There's just a lot of beautiful features inside it as well that I just really, it's cute, as well as being, you know, very functional. How about this entrance to the Grand Master Suite? So beautiful. What was fun is as we passed through here, there was a dumb waiter and there's a service bar. So you've got your own little setup here. Yeah. You can get up in the morning, have your coffee without even going downstairs. And then you're here sitting out on your balcony, looking through the French doors. Master Suite was really beautiful. 
It has a great view of the pool. Again, we have paneling custom done throughout. We've got the wainscoting, the gorgeous oak floors. This is a grand suite. I feel so good here. I mean, this vibe, this aesthetic is so wonderful. It's got a great spa bathroom, nice closets. It was everything I would look for. Want to go outside and yes, see the yard? let's check it out. Come on. Now step into your outdoor living space, which wow. is a wow. Here we are on a mountainside in Hidden Hills. We've got this gorgeous waterfall that cascades into your hot tub, into your pool. This beautiful, large, structured outdoor living room, outdoor fireplace. I'm really digging it. I love that everything here, inside and outside, is really tied into the natural landscape with these features that remind you where you are. So this okay. is five bedrooms. It's seven and a quarter baths. It also has the auxiliary space. We even passed by an indoor movie studio right. here. What do you think this home is worth? Um, let's say seven, eight million. Well, it's practically a bargain compared to that. This home is listed at $4.5 million. No kidding. So it is actually in your budget. Oh, wow, okay. Yes. The price is right about where I was hoping to be, so price is right. So we've now seen three different homes yeah. and you have a big decision to make. The first home was 9,700 square feet. It's a modern Tuscan villa, five bedrooms, six baths. It has two separate guest houses. The second home was a more classic Italian villa, 5,100 square feet, also in Calabasas, also five bedrooms, six baths on half an acre of land. And now our third home, 5,600 square feet on over an acre of land, five bedrooms, seven and a quarter baths. A lot to choose from. I am gonna leave you for a few moments because okay. I want you to really, really make sure you're All making right. the right decision. I'll come back to check on you and see what you've decided. Okay. okay. We've seen all three vacation properties and when we come back, which home are you choosing? Well. Danielle will make the big decision. I chose. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We've seen all three luxury California vacation homes. Hey, Mom. It's time for Danielle to make the big decision. Yes, so I just saw three amazing houses. Two were in Calabasas and the third one was in Hidden Hills. They all had different elements of what I was kind of dreaming of. The first one was this, you know, kind of minimalist, modern, but very kind of Tuscan, gorgeous, new, um, kind of huge home with, with some great space for family to visit. But it was a little bit larger than I think I need. Okay, and then the second one was more um, intimate and cozy. It still had a gorgeous pool, kind of glamorous and cosmopolitan to me. And the price was right. Um, the third one, um, I'm here now and it is just incredible. It's got this feeling of the old west meets uh, ranch living, but very modern. Um, cute pool in the background, little home theater. Definitely um, room maybe to actually do a fully functioning music studio in one of the um, other side buildings on the property. So I just, I have so much to think about. She showed me so many amazing places, but they'd all be awesome for you to come visit. That's the good news. They all had almost all the elements that I'm interested in. Okay, bye. Danielle. You've had a lot to think about. Yes. They are so different from one another and in very different price points, but I wanted you to have the opportunity to really explore different options. Right. So now that you've had a chance to think about it, which home are you choosing? Well, I chose home number three. Oh, home well, number three. I love it here, it's beautiful. House number three has that element with the whimsical, with the charm, but also great for socializing. It's got just this wonderful open ranch country life. And very different from New York City. Absolutely. It provides plenty of opportunities for me to also have um, live performance and music and also work with any students or clients that come out here. 
Well, I think you have picked the perfect vacation Thank home for you. you. This house is a dream. I'm going to call the agent and let's make an offer. Great. Danielle found the perfect vacation home here in Hidden Hills, California. She's going to be very happy here and so will her clients. Tune in next time when we see more amazing vacation homes. I'm Jennifer Farrell and I'll see you then.